All right, hello, it's Brian. I'm going to show you a new couple features that I've added to the Stat Powers uh, population sampler or population simulator. So, um, you, if you've seen some of the other videos, you know that you can use this uh, feature of the website under sampling the population sampling simulator to create a population and share it with others, giving them the ability to sample from that population, but without knowing the actual parameters which define the population. Here's a population, it's actually simulating an experiment where students are given, of various ages, are given uh, either water for their, during their exam or not. And we can see the effect on their exam scores if there is a difference. So I can just, I can do a simple random sample as I did before, uh, click on sample and you can see a sample of the, uh, the results we've got people of various ages, males and females, they either have no water or access to water and they get various scores. So I can, uh, that's fine, but let's suppose I wanted to actually design an experiment where I gave 25 individuals access to water and 25 individuals no access to water. I've added a little feature here, sampling options, which we can click on and we can change our sampling method. Uh, first thing actually I want to mention is variables to report. This is simple enough. Uh, by checking or unchecking these, you can, you can include or not include these variables in your output. Now, as far as this goes, sampling method, I'm, there's a stratified sampling option now, and I'm going to show you what the strata look like when you add them. So let's say I want to have 25 with access to water and 25 without. I'm going to add a stratum. Um, and I'm going to specify 25 individuals, and the condition is that they have I want water access equals water. I want to add another stratum, which is 25 more people, and I want water access to have no water. And that's it. So now I'm going to guarantee my sample results are going to fit those quota. Click sample, and you'll see what I get. Now it does, it does put them into a random order, um, uh, the order is done in the in the order in which they're sampled. So it, it keeps track of how many until one of the quota is reached. And what you'll see is, it looks like no water quota maybe is reached first. And so at the end, oh no, it looks like it's about the same either, either way. Okay. Um, now, that's great. And then you can take this, you can save this. It's gonna be a CSV, you can, you can analyze it elsewhere. But I've added another feature, um, which I'll show you uh, in a bit, that'll make it easier. Uh, but another thing I wanted to show you is that let's let's suppose I wanted to uh, actually have 25 males with access to water and 25 females with access to water. So I'm going to add the second condition, which is I want sex to be male for these, and let's have uh, sex to be female for these. And now I'm going to have everybody in the sample will have access to water, and I'll have 25 males, 25 females. I'm going to click sample and you'll see everyone in the sample has water, half of them male, half of them female. Of course, I can add two more strata. I can have 25, uh, which have uh, no access to water and they're male, and then 25 with no access to water who are female. And sample that. So now I've got a quarter of my uh, you know, of the, there's going to be 100 people. You can see the 100 is a sample size. That's automatic. Uh, 100 of them, we've got 25 in each of those four categories. So I've created this really nice stratified sample. Now, uh, I mentioned that there's that I can analyze this uh, in a quick way, and this is something that I'm very excited about. I think it's a really cool feature. Down at the bottom, analysis options. I'm going to click that and expand it and scroll down. Now, it's... Uh, it, it looks simple enough, but let's say I want to look at their score and I want to group it by uh, water access. Uh, actually, what I want to just click is score I, is the only variable I want to analyze right now and group by water access. Click analyze. It's going to open up a new window. No, you have to scroll up to see it. It's actually not another window. It's an iframe. So it's actually embedded within this page and I can, it's populated this with all of the data, no water and water, and I can, for example, uh, close that up and let's say I can look at, I can compare um, 
uh, plot. So I think I might have to click uh, c calculate now to get the, the, the plots created for me. And um, oop, I think it might have to be open first. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so there. So look, I got these are some plots of the uh, of the populations um, or the the two uh, the two groups. Uh, I can I can go down and do like a hypothesis test for the means. I want to see if there is enough evidence that there is a difference in means. Looks like the p value is 0 0.1717. That's not enough to reject. Um, I might be interested in seeing what would happen if I had a larger sample size. Um, and, and so forth. But anyway, it's just a quick way of taking the, the sample data and, sim and putting it here. You can move this around, you can minimize it, stick it over to the side, and uh, do a different, uh, like analyze something else. Say if I wanted to compare uh, age uh, and, oh, let's look, let's com let's look at, uh, oh, yeah, I'm just thinking, okay, let's say I wanted to look at uh, includes score, uh, age, and sex. Analyze that, it's going to put this into a, a multiple regression, right? My, uh, my options I'm going to pick is to have my uh, score be the output variable, and uh, let's have, uh, I could look at, at the, under the uh, scatter plot, for example, I can color the lines by, uh, oops, I don't, I haven't included sex in my, uh, in my model. Yeah, I think I can, I should at this point now have them colored by sex. You can see this is a, a scatter plot. See if that there is a difference in the linear model. Looks like, it seems like the older students tend to do a little bit better on the exam, but there's a lot of variation. Anyway. That's not what this is about. I'm just showing you how you can take the stuff that you've, the sample you've created and click analyze to just quickly do your analysis right then and there. Of course, if I just wanted to look at the scores without any sort of grouping, click analyze that and it's going to open up a window, one variable analysis where I can, for example, uh, look at the, the mean of the scores, the median, all of that good stuff. Um, let's see, are the norm, all the scores normally distributed? I don't know. Look at those tails. Doesn't look like it's very normally distributed. Of course, this is. I can uh, let's change this sampling method to a simple random, and let's just do a big old sample, a giant sample of a thousand. Sample that, and let's analyze a thousand scores and see what that looks like. I'm going to open this over here, and oh, there's definitely a cutoff at the top. Since they, there's a lot of students who are getting 100, so that upper tail is, is, is truncated. That's what I was seeing before. Um, that totally makes sense. Uh, there's, because the scores only go up so high and they only go past, they don't go past 100. Um, let's look at the, uh, let's look at histogram. Yeah, you can see that this, 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 this cutoff at 100 is, is part of the problem. But um, yeah. There you go. So anyway, that's the new feature on StatPowers. It's on the population sampler. You can analyze your variables uh, right then and there. And um, yeah, you can, depending on whether you're picking a single quantitative, two quantitative. So if I just pick um, age and score, that'd be two quantitative variables. That should open up a two variable, a, 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 a paired variable. That's like a simple linear regression pain. Um, so that's what I wanted to show. I think it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of usefulness, I think, and, and, uh, and I hope you find it useful in your analysis. All right. Bye.